Hey everyone, I just wanted to share a very quick video with another successful experiment that I tried. I bought this ceramic um, spoon rest at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks on sale. And I wanted to see if I could use that as a mold in my kiln. So I sprayed it with zip and I have some scrap uh, art glass. This was not fusing glass, but just some uh, glue chip style clear glass. I cut a single layer to match the shape. Uh, after spraying this with zip, I put that single layer in the kiln and fired it. And look at this. I mean, I've got a pretty decent looking uh, glass spoon rest that came from that. And the impression on it is nice and deep. Um, I got all of the words. It generally kept its shape. I mean, it did shrink in a little bit, as you can see maybe on the edges here a little bit, but not too bad. So I'm pretty pleased with this. I think I'll try it again. I actually have quite a bit of, of art glass that is lying around. Now I did this in a single firing. And so here's how I did it. Cause I've got nice rounded edges. Uh, fortunately for me, there wasn't too much dog boning, but I'll just share my schedule with you. My shelf kiln shelf is about six inches down from the lid. And what I did was I, I went as fast as possible to 1225 degrees and I held that for three hours. Now all this could all be overkill. I'm just telling you what I used and it worked. So I will probably try this again, but um, as fast as possible, 1225 held for three hours, then as fast as possible to 1500 for 20 minutes. And so what I think happened is that hold for three hours at 1225 gave it a real deep slump and then my goal was to take it up to 1500 so that I could get a true full fuse on it and round off these edges and, and not have to do any kind of cold working to it. Then after the hold for 20 minutes of 1500, I went as fast as possible down to 900. I held it for 60 minutes. You know, this is art glass. I know 900 is the bullseye annealing temp. That's just what I generally default to. And then, um, and then I stepped it down 100 degrees an hour to 600 and then turned it off. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this, uh, truly. I'll be making more of these and I may be buying some other ceramics and trying the same kind of thing. Uh, this is glazed pottery. Uh, you can kind of see the sheen on that. I didn't mess around with that at all. I just zipped the front and, uh, and there you go. So thanks a lot. Give it a shot. Let me know if it works for you.